Um, since Ray isn't here today, I'll go ahead and give you guys the quick shots. Um, so the first one, uh, it looks like the Twisted Metal TV series has found their main person. And it's actually Anthony Mackie. Yeah. Um, that is the Captain America. Great actor. Um, so yeah, so he's going to be doing this one. Um, I believe the, the writers for Twisted Metal, uh, is, uh, the writers from Deadpool. So it oh. should be pretty interesting. It should nice. have hopefully a lot of so humor it should be, in it. Yeah, it should be funny. Yeah. I just saw like I just saw this uh, very limited, but is he gonna be like the main guy, Sweet Tooth? Yeah, yeah, he's supposed to be. Because I remember tooth. like, I remember when I played this on PS One and PS Two, but it always had like a pretty intriguing backstory on, you know, why they're doing what they. I don't know, but I, I remember my cousins used to tell me. You know the lore, yeah, the whole storyline, the, the whole story, and, and I'm like, like this yeah, that's game why you would play has... like each character yeah. to get like their whole yeah. storyline. I was and like, how they went. damn, this, you know. But anyways, my cousins knew all about the characters, but th this is really cool. Um, yeah, it's coming because I I love this game, man. Yeah, for sure, game. great. That's game. some dope. So, um, for the next quick shot, um, it looks like there's a possibility that we may have a cheaper 500 gig, uh, Xbox Series X, um, expansion drive coming soon. Um, it's definitely been reported. This one comes from uh, WindowsCentral.com, um, and it looks like they, they're trying to work on something. Uh, I'm not sure exactly when it'll be coming out, but I mean, the the one terabyte is two twenty. So if yeah. you're looking at half, I mean, you know, you'd obviously probably assume it'd be one ten. Yeah. For it, so I think know. I think they're forced to because you know we'll talk about this later with the recent update adding your own M.2 SSD to the PlayStation. Right. But like. They need some easy way to expand it. And Microsoft, ever since the first Xbox 360, adding storage has never been their forte. It's no, always they been, always try to do a proprietary it's always, storage. Thing. And I always buy I always download like the cracks to partition my own and you know turn some, you know, I'll go to Best Buy and get one. I'll buy the housing from China, make my own, you know, external. Mm -hmm. But it's always really difficult to do that. So they need some easy way for people. Maybe they just sell you the housing. And I don't know. They need an easier way to compete with Sony. Yeah, I mean they do have the uh, you know the the ability to plug in those external, external drives yeah. and whatnot but, for the other ones, yeah. but they're not. It's so bottlenecked by plugging it in. Mm -hmm. Whereas you know, PlayStation, you're plugging it in directly to the motherboard. So yeah, so it's know. not like more space taken up on your on your 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 yeah. uh, console, or whatever you got, you know, your yeah. unit or something like that. Yeah. You know? Plugging so, over U USB is never a good option. It's just yeah. too slow. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So um, that's that's a good thing, you know, to hear. Um, it'll definitely be like that's dope. it'll be more. It's more reasonable for me to purchase something that's around like one ten or something like yeah. that for an expand, you know, an expansion than that two twenty. Yeah. You know, what I mean, that's just like hardcore. It's like yeah, it's a terabyte, but yeah. I mean, damn, you know, yeah. <laughs> like, they're trying to put a you pay a hundred bucks and get like ten terabytes, you know, for an external drive, so. But uh, yeah, so the next uh, quick shot that we got for you is uh, Battlefield 2042 has been delayed. Um, this one was uh, supposed to come out really soon, October. right? Yeah, yeah, October 22nd. And it got pushed and, back to uh, November. It's been pushed back a month, uh, pretty much to November 19th. Uh, honestly, I don't know if this is really going to make much of a difference. I feel like it could get pushed back again. Yeah. I Agreed. feel like, you know, these bullshit one month pushbacks are just kind of like, yeah. you know, they probably trying to 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 save some time to really figure out, OK, how long do we really need to push this back? You know, what I mean, it's just a, it's just yeah. like a little buffer to be like, OK, we can't just say like shit next year, yeah. you know, you know, in, in, you know, in June or something like that. You yeah. know, we got to give like a real date. So, you yeah, know, let's try to figure this it's out. It's a day of delays. So uh, it is what it is at this point. Yeah. So uh, the next quick shot we got for you guys is uh, the Tokyo Game Show 2021. It looks like Xbox is going to be there. Um, so, yep. that, I mean, that's going to be an interesting thing. Uh, this is 25th anniversary of this game show. Um, you know, so I, I think it's been a, maybe like a year or so, a year or two since yeah. uh, Xbox has shown up there. Uh, but they're not showing anything super big. Um, yeah. They're not doing any like uh, huge global debuts yeah. or anything like that. This is specifically so. no global debuts. So we might see some local titles. You know, um, Japan normally gets a lot of niche like JRPGs and stuff. Mm -hmm. So 
maybe Game Pass might have some Japanese yeah, maybe titles. I'm, I'm wondering if uh, if they'll do like uh, some new, but Japanese, you know, Japan only releases. They probably you know, they'll will. show some new games, but they're only being released in Japan yeah. as of now or something like that. They, maybe they probably will. Maybe some PlayStation titles they got the licensing for it. Um, because if you know well, Xbox, sorry Xbox, yeah. Um, like for example, if you get Xbox Live in Japan. Mm -hmm. I always go to the Japanese. I used to always go to the Japanese Xbox, you know, dot JP or whatever. Okay, yeah. Because they always get diff different games on the Xbox Live Gold than oh, we did. Okay, they try to cater to that that area. Exactly. Okay. So they'll give them, you know, more JRPG style games for free. But if you have an Xbox Live account, you can just log in, add it to your cart, and get more games for free. Right. So maybe they're trying to capitalize on some Game Pass things and have a more, you know, a games tailored to that that region you know what i mean but we'll see what they're gonna we'll see what they're gonna do yeah it'll be interesting you know to see uh how that all goes you know i'll definitely be trying to check in and oh, see yeah, for sure you know what they're showing for you sure. know it might it might just be a bunch of old stuff but it'll still be cool to look at yeah for sure um so for the next quick shot uh destroy all humans to remake now, why the fuck do they keep making these damn games? I don't know. They keep doing these <laughs> shits, these remakes and shit. Um, I guess they like cold favorites. I mean, I played yeah. Destroy All Humans. I was not... I mean, Destroy All Humans, when that first came out, it was like entertaining enough for Absolutely. me. And I was pretty young on that one. But when 2 came out, I was kind of like, you know, it wasn't like, you know, that drawing of a game. You know yeah. what I mean? It, it seemed more like it was like a one-off. Like there shouldn't have been a sequel to that game. Um, but they have made a sequel to it, and they are making a sequel remake. Um, nice. It's uh, it was kind of accidentally announced. Yeah, by PlayStation, um, right? On yeah, the by by PlayStation's Twitter, man. PlayStation's Twitter is like the go to for just dropping random shit, man. Like if you're not yeah. following them on Twitter, <laughs> I don't know what you do yeah. it, but but yeah. So um, that one was like a quick here and then boom, pop off. Um, but you know, it's out there. So if you guys are looking for it, then Hey, you know, have no fear. It will be coming. So nice. Um, yeah, that's something that, uh, yeah, you guys just keep your eye out for, um, for, let me see. I believe it's the last quick shot of the day. Little big planet. Um, it looks like it was officially, the servers have officially been shut down. Um, and that's for the PS3 and the Vita. You know, I mean, they, they closed the store. A long time ago really? but uh yeah it looks like they've started to to shut everything down on that one it's an old ass game so i mean I'm, I'm i would be i'm extremely surprised to see that people are still playing it especially when they've had like a couple of successors after that but you know some people that just really like the other stuff you know yeah so but yeah so it's it was it's time to go you know what yeah. I mean? They they ain't going to keep putting money into those servers when they can reuse those servers for something yeah. else, you know, like maybe Little Big Planet 3 or that's true. You know, or whatever. That's true, man. Yeah. So uh, that is it for the quick shots. A um, little bit of tidbits of uh, information there. Um, you know, uh, yeah. So, you know, be on the lookout for any of those if you were. I love you, mate.